Hey there, uh, welcome back. So one of the most frequent questions I get uh, with respect to Microsoft Stream is how do I share video files with external participants? Let's say you had a meeting uh, on Microsoft Teams with both internal and external participants and you've recorded the meeting and the meeting gets recorded, uh, stored back into your Microsoft Stream account, right? We've seen that in the previous videos. But how do you share that file with your participants? You know, internal participants like, you know, the people within your company can get access to it because they get notified. They get uh, uh, they can see that in the chat, uh, the Microsoft chat conversation view. Right. Uh, however, the external participants can't actually go and access the video uh, in, in, in Microsoft Stream. That's because Microsoft Stream doesn't allow you to share external files. Let's see how you can actually share files uh, in, in a different way. Before doing that, let's, uh, here's a, v a video, right? Uh, if I were to go and click on share and click, say, say I want to send an email. And if I just want to put, say, John, sorry. John, you can actually see there's a John in my account or, uh, or maybe I'll just use Megan in this case. So if I just put Megan, you know, Megan is, is an internal uh, uh, user of, of uh, Microsoft Stream within this tenant. So I can actually go ahead and, and click and, and share the file with them, right? But if I actually go and put, say, John Snow dot uh, uh, gmail dot com. What happens, you know, it automatically tells me that it's not a valid user and I can't actually save it. Uh, I can't share the file with them. So that's the, it doesn't allow you to share uh, videos from right within Microsoft Stream uh, to external uh, share uh, external participants, right? So actually, if I just go ahead and have a look at the Microsoft 365 roadmap, uh, this, is, this has been asked quite a number of times and it has been in development for a long time now. Uh, like you know, sharing anonymous links uh, with external uh, with external sharing on Microsoft uh, Stream. Uh, this particular feature has been added to the roadmap in, in 2018, and it's still being worked out. Uh, I've done a bit of digging, and I've, uh, I, I know that Microsoft is actually working on this uh, from the Microsoft uh, Stream uh, product team itself. So it. We'll keep an eye out and see if uh, if this feature gets released very soon, right? Uh, or maybe in 2020. Anyway, I'll make a video when it gets released. <laughs> so um, let's, but that's not going to stop us from sharing the file, am I right? So let's go ahead and see how you can actually do that. So now I have this file. All I'll do is just go ahead and uh, click on the three dots and download the video. So I've already downloaded the video a couple of times here. You can actually see the video has been downloaded here. And now what I do, use the OneDrive for Business uh, option to share the file with external providers. Don't upload to YouTube, don't upload to Vimeo or any of those things. Just go to your OneDrive location. I have a folder here and I'm just gonna bring up the download folder again and just pretty much drag that in. And you can actually see the file has been uh, you know, uploaded and then you get a shared link here and you would just click on the share link. And now I can actually select whether I wanted to select, uh, uh, share this with just within the people within the organization or outside people. Especially if your organization, if your tenant is configured to share external links, you are allowed to do this. So you just click and uh, don't allow them to edit uh, and click apply and click. And now I can go and put John uh, Snow, right? Uh, and gmail.com or something. And now you can actually add John john smith in there and then click on send that's how you would actually share uh, your microsoft stream videos or your recordings of your microsoft teams meetings uh, with your external participants thanks for watching this is jag kakarlapudi from the modern work group if you have any questions regarding microsoft stream or any other apps for that matter in office 365 or sorry uh, the microsoft 365 uh, Please do leave them in the comments and I will try and make a video uh, if, if it's quite frequently asked. Thanks for watching uh, and stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks a lot.